Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about segments in Jetpack CRM and how you can go about using them to get useful views of your data. So in this install, we've got three contacts added. And so far we have the filters of lead and customer. So these are the statuses that we've defined. So you can filter your list out of the box on the statuses. So you want to see it's just your customers. You can click on customer and it loads your list, but only those who have a customer status. So that's the out of the box functionality, but there are additional things you can do with tags and also segmentation. So this video will go into a little bit more detail on using tags and segments and how you can then use that further in the CRM. So let's go into using a tag. So I'll choose this person because they're already on the list. So you can edit a contact and then you can choose a tag. So you could have something in here like doctors. So we want to keep a tag of all the doctors. So we'll save this person. And then you'll see they have the tags area. So you can go to tags and it will show you there that you've got the tag of doctors and there's currently one person matching that tag. And you can add other tags here if you have some other tags. So then what you can do with your tags is you can then do the same as we did with filters. So now we have a tag of doctors. So if I go and add another contact, and this is a qualified lead, it's a Ms. Then we can add the tag doctor and save that contact. And back in the contact list, you see now doctors is showing two tags. So even though we haven't prefixed this person with doctor, you can use tags to group together contacts in different ways. And then building on top of tags, you can then look at segments. So what segments allows you to do is be even more specific with your groupings. So I will create a segment. So we don't have any at the moment. So I'm going to call this segment doctors to convert. So we may have a website about getting doctors onto a doctor as a service system. So you've got leads of doctors that you're interested in. And then you may want a segment here that they've got the tag of doctor and they're a lead. So if I save that segment, nobody at the moment. So we've saved a segment there. A doctor has a status of lead. So if I make a new contact again, and this time it's a lead, it's a professor. And then we'll just add an email again. And add the tag of doctor. So again, it's a lead, it's a professor, but they've got the tag of a doctor. And then when we go and look at segments, you'll see that we've now got one person in that segment of doctors to convert. So even though we've got three doctors, this specific segment is just doctors that have a status of lead. And then you can go in here and you can bring this in as a filter. So we now have doctors to convert on the list. And as we're working through this, you can build up different segments and different things to break your data down with. So this is our standard list. And if we just want to quickly look at doctors to convert, you'll see we have one person in that segment. 
And if anything changes with this person, so if they become a customer, then they will no longer be in this segment. So they're dynamic and they'll just keep changing based on how your data changes. So a particular workflow that you might have in place would be a contact form that is bringing in leads and tagging them with the tag doctor. If you have a specific landing page for collecting doctor's information, and then people can work through this list and start moving them down your sales funnel to becoming an eventual customer. So this is the power of segments. And then in a future video, I'm going to look at how you can become more advanced with segments. So how you can filter based on city and based on location and based on the total value of that contact in your database. So if you like this video and want to see more, please do like and subscribe. And if you want to see a little bit more about adding contacts and a one-on-one to contact management, you can check out this video that's showing on the screen now.